This is Queen City Overtime. Theron Drake is the assistant swim coach at Catawba College. He set records as an athlete, winning a handful of world championship medals along the way. But there was a point in Drake's life where all the success seemed impossible. She does the Gatlin slap on backstroke. Theron Drake is just like any other college swim coach, obsessed with details. Watch the streamlines, Kyle. So this is not a streamline, this is. Trying to shave off tenths of seconds from 50 meter sprints, anything to give his athletes an edge. How can we make you want, want to go that next step? Find that extra inch. Tell yourself it's okay to hurt. While coaching, he continues to train at a high level. I went to the Rio Games, won two silvers there. With his sights set higher. I'm trying for Tokyo, that is always a goal for me. The difference is, Theron Drake is blind. I was a freshman in high school, had all these hopes and dreams, and all at once it all came, boom. All came down, so it seemed. Theron was 15 when he lost his eyesight. He suffered from a neurological disorder. Fast, Kyle. Doctors still aren't exactly sure what caused his blindness. The last thing I remember seeing ever is hugging my dad goodnight and saying, all right, dad, I'll see you in the morning. Then I woke up the next morning, couldn't see. Wow, I'm completely blind. What's life going to look like from here? All the expected emotions followed. Anger, fear, confusion, but it was swimming that saved him. That was my outlet of where I could take everything else, where I was free. Then after use a cane, that was awesome. It wasn't easy at first. His father was his coach. They spent a good deal of time just trying to figure out how to swim straight. I looked like a ping pong ball and the court was the lane. So I'd hit the left lane. About three seconds later, there's the right lane rope. But he figured it out and became one of the most accomplished Paralympic swimmers in Team USA history, holding 11 US records, winning five world championship medals, and winning two silver medals at the 2016 Paralympic Games in Rio. But Theron's inspirational story wouldn't stop there. During last year's NCAA championships, he sent Catawba head coach Michael Sever an email looking for an assistant coaching job. All the things flooded through my head that that everybody thinks about, you know. It's a blind, blind swimmer, blind swim coach. But I was so, I was so intrigued. It didn't take long for Sever to realize what he had in Theron, but he still had to sell his athletes. So Theron made a video introducing himself. You're used to seeing the sport of swimming with your eyes. As I've been blind for the last 10 years, I see it with my ears. But it's hard to believe he can critique a stroke just by the sound until you see it yourself. The left hand slight thumb. She's turning her hand, I bet. I remember the first time I made, told someone, hey, watch your thumb. It sounds like you're entering thumb first entry. And they're like, what? No, that's exactly what I think all of us thought was like, how does he, how does he know this? That he can pick up an individual swimmer's hand placement in a pool with all the lanes full seems impossible. Are you sure you're really blind? I get asked that all the time and I love it because I'm proving something that they just knew was something in the comic books. A superhero, a pioneer, Theron Drake, without the ability to see the impact on those around him, is an inspiration. Whether we can see or not, or whatever we do in life, that they can go, I hope this coach made a difference in my life. That's my goal.